Hi there. Today's video is a challenge video. Have you ever been really tight on time and you needed to get dressed and get out the door like in rapid fire? Now, I don't mean get out the door in loungewear, workout clothes, yoga pants. I mean, you've got a doctor's appointment that you forgot and you need to get to in like 15 minutes or someplace you need to be, an errand to run, a friend to meet, where you've got to step it up a level, but you don't have a lot of time. So today's video is a challenge to get out the door, clothed, made up, in five minutes or less. In five minutes or less. Five minutes or less. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> That's a tough task. <gasps> why, yes, my friend, it is. <laughs> Which is why I'm up to it. Um, there have been many situations that I have found myself in where I have really, really needed to, you know, figure out what, what are my go-tos? What, what do I know will serve me well that can get me out the door quickly where I feel polished, where I feel presentable, you know, in case I need to talk to somebody or meet somebody important or whatever it may be. And, and just for basics, I'm going to assume that we have all brushed our teeth at this point and put on deodorant. <laughs> okay. So we're strictly talking about makeup, hair, wardrobe. And then what I'm gonna do is make my way into the bathroom. I'm going to set a time clock. We're gonna do the ta uh, challenge. And then after the challenge, I'm going to talk about why I chose what I did and the system that I have in place potentially for this. Mind you, I have never done this. I have not done a test run. So this could be great or it could be an epic fail. <laughs> and we will all find out together. <laughs> Don't you just love vulnerability? Okay, let's make our way in there. Okay, everybody, just to give you the lay of the land here, the way I'm doing this, I've got my main camera set on me with the microphone. I've got my cell phone set up, ready to go. So the minute I'm finished with the makeup look and I'm heading into that closet, I'm gonna hit that camera to record. I've angled the door in a way so that I've got a little bit of privacy to get dressed in there, but uh, you'll see my head pop out and you'll know that it's me getting dressed in real time. At the end of this challenge, I'm then going to walk you through why I chose what I chose because there is a method to this madness. I'm a little nervous about this, you guys. All right, let me get my stuff ready. Um, sort of there. Okay, we're gonna put up the clock and some fun and fancy music on your mark. Get set, go. Ma.
Okay, two minutes to get dressed. Okay, let's start with the other camera. And we're rolling. I've got 45 more seconds. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am, sh I'm shot. <laughs> I could have focused a little bit more on the makeup. Okay, fine. Take advantage of my extra time. The one thing I should have done in hindsight, now that I think about it, is the blush for my cheeks. I probably should have put on my eyes before the mascara. Okay. Anyway, I'm waiting for this alarm to go off. And then I will tell you what I did and why I did it. <sighs> and there it goes. Timer's done. Okay. Whew. Let me catch my breath here. Hold up. So here's, here's the methodology. I went for a mineral tint cream that I have featured before. It's by Face Forward and it's in Sun Glow. Lightweight, moisturizing, mineral foundation. It's a natural finish. It's just got great coverage. I, I wear this all the time in the summertime when I just want a light coverage, when I'm sitting by the pool, all of that good stuff. So it's, it's easy and I know I'm not gonna set anything with powder. Everything's kind of a dewy, glowy, but I just want something on my face. So that was my start. Concealer I went with is also a creamy, lightweight concealer, and it's also cooling and hydrating. This is by Typology, Anti-Wrinkle Concealer Type 2 Light. Again, like, like I said, super light, super creamy, cooling effect, natural. Just give me enough coverage, just so I don't look like I've got the super dark circles under my eyes. And again, all the consistency needs to be the same, right? So I've got the creamy foundation, I got the creamy concealer, I'm moving on to the creamy blush and this also by my friend Andrea with face forward this is actually lip and cheek balm it could have gone for my lips I just like something a little bit more emollient and it's called honey bourbon so you can see this color it's like a, a nice natural rustic tan color so it gives that look of that kind of sun-kissed, little warmth on the cheek. It's perfect just to pop on the eye to tie in the two. Again, should have done this on my eyes first. Nonetheless, it got done. A black liquid eyeliner just for the top lash only, just to give some emphasis to that lash line. This is by Rare Beauty. It's a liquid liner. All of these products, by the way, listed in the description below. If you click show more, you'll see everything expand. So this way you get some kind of border for the top lash so that when you do apply your mascara, and you know after seeing my NYX video the other week, I'm in love with On The Rise Volume Lift Scara, they call it. Holy smokes, do you see this? Okay, this is looking like I put on a false lash strip. I am seriously blown away. That's amazing. So one coat gives you the look of a lot of lashes, right? You don't want to sit, you don't have time to be painting on coat after coat after coat. So I wanted a mascara that I knew after three or four strokes, I'd look like I had had some decent lashes. So that was done. And then for the lippy, I love this by Laura Mercier. It's a great color. 
a great gloss. It's it, a look like this, you're just not doing lipstick. Lipstick is too harsh, too much coverage for this kind of natural sheer look, but you want your lip gloss to have some color. So this one is called Creme Caramel, number 60. Great, great pigment and coverage, you know, as you can see. And as I get closer and take my glasses off because of the reflection, you can see how much coverage this gloss has. So I feel like it's a lipstick in a lip gloss in one. It's like a diluted lipstick. So perfect for this look. I feel like I, you know, I'm, I'm polished and, and ready to get out the door. The brow gel, the brow lift has a tint to it. This also a new purchase, the NYX Thick It, Stick It, Thickening Brow Mascara in Brunette. So this way I get a little bit of color to the eyebrows and I get some lift. So again, I think when you're doing some mascara, some treatment to the brows is critical. This is a quick way to do it. You're not doing a full fill. You're not doing the uh, lift and snatch pen. Nobody got time for that in under five minutes. So this way your brows get some kind of coverage to complete the eye look. Why I chose what I chose to wear. For me, just a classic white button down is sort of a no brainer. And I'm always concerned if I'm in a rush, if I do anything pulled over my head, and this was a, a tinted foundation, I might get some makeup on the neckline of whatever I'm wearing. And now I've got to take that off and start over. So an open neckline, a quick little button down, <laughs> missed a button, sorry, little front tuck. You get your, your favorite pair of jeans, okay? Your go-to jeans. And I, I love these, they're by three in one. You've seen me wear them on my podcast all the time. They've got this slit at the calf all the way down. And they're like jean slacks in a way. So they're almost like dressier jeans. And then when it came to the shoe, I didn't want anything that had buckles, ties, anything that would take up some time. So I've got these crazy Birkenstocks by Isabel Morant that I love. They're like dressy Birks. And you slide them on and in two seconds, you've got your shoes on and then you just grab your purse and, and you're out the door. And I'm actually shocked that I got this done in under five minutes, which just goes to show that I need to challenge myself some more in real life. <laughs> okay. Okay, give me some challenges. Throw some stuff my way, y'all. What, what do you want me to see? Do, what can I do for you? Uh, where are you struggling? Where do you wanna save time? Let's see if I can help. I don't know, I have no guarantees. I think I, I think I totally lucked out on this one, but this was super fun and I hope you found it helpful and somewhat entertaining. <laughs> And I'm so glad you're with me. We really, you know, we, let's face it, we have a good time together, okay? I just, I so appreciate when there is levity and joy to anything that we approach in life. You, you know, we can make life stressful and serious and complicated, or we can make it fun and funny and laughable and shareable. And even in these crazy moments, there's fun and there's silliness and there's joy in exploring this with you. And for me, the lesson, I guess the lesson in everything is just preparation, right? Be prepared, sort of have your go-to things that you know work for you. So you're not standing there in your closet and just struggling. What do I wear? What do I wear? Or, you know, your makeup is unorganized and scattered and it's, you're thinking, okay, well, I know this works, but where is it? Where did I stuff it? Where did I put it? I think that if we're on top of our personal space, then moments like this can happen so much easier and quicker and with a lot less hassle than we think it might. So maybe that's the moral of the story is just, you know, be organized, have a plan, know what works for you, know what your go-to is, and then go to it, you know, trust in it and, and don't worry about repetition. I'll tell you what, I have cleaned out more stuff than I ever thought imaginable. And that comes to, that really consists of makeup, clothes, and, and I still think, pare down more, get rid of more, donate more, you don't need so much. And it's true, I just, I know what I feel good in, and if I wear it a lot, so be it. You know, if people see me in the same button down or my ACDC rock t-shirt a lot, so be it, it brings me joy. So I think there is beauty and simplicity, and I hope that that's what today's video showed you. 
comment some ideas below. That's where I look. Um, social media is where we get to continue the fun and the conversation and all kinds of expression. And I appreciate you just beyond belief. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing to this channel, sharing me with women in your life who you love, who you want to have incorporated in this great sisterhood of women. Let's really, really make an effort and a focus as we round out um, 2023 to, to be cheerful and giving toward one another, to be people who offer words of praise, words of affirmation, words of um, appreciation and acceptance. Let's watch our tongues. Let's be kind. Let's make social media, let's make the world in general just a kinder, more lovely place and space to be. Everybody would benefit from that. And I know I would too. So thank you. Go out, be bold and be blessed. I'll see you next week. Whew.